Katie here from the Scrappy Sisters and I am up with a hop today for Mixed Media Frenzy. This is the layout we are using as inspiration and as always because it's July and you know if you've watched uh, the video that I released on the 1st of July we are doing Christmas in July on our channel so this is a Christmas themed layout. <laughs> so you can see my photo on the bottom left of the screen there. It's a picture of Danny with our dog Gypsy. Now this was taken in 2010. So Gypsy is 10 years old this year. Can't believe it. <laughs> um, so yeah, this is quite an old photo. Uh, now I am using my Distress Oxides in Festive Berry and Evergreen Bow, I think. And I've think that they were released as Christmas kind of colors I don't know if it was last year though could have been an earlier year I'm not 100% sure and I'm using some makeup brushes actually from Kmart um, and they were $10 for a set of three so it came with a small medium and a large and I bought two sets so this is the small size they're like $10 from Kmart. I don't know if you can still get them. I'll try and remember to link them down below for those who are Australian. Um, they're from a place called OXX Studio and they're called Cosmetic Tools. So anyway, they work well. <laughs> now I haven't prepped my cardstock and I know a few people have said to me in previous videos that these blend a lot better if you are using cardstock that's made for mixed media or you prep your cardstock in advance and I would 100% agree. I have used them on prepped cardstock before and it does make a big difference. But because I knew I was just doing strips, like the inspiration piece kind of had for its background, um, I wasn't so worried about the blending necessarily. So I am grabbing out some twine, sorry, not twine, this is metallic thread. I have to think about that for a minute. And I've got a green and a red color. And so I'm grabbing that out and I'm going to add that to my background. Now, I have to apologize. This is a bit of a a weird video. I am actually doing a Zoom scrappy session with my sister while I am filming this video. So we were doing a lot of talking. <laughs> As you can imagine, the two of us talk a lot when we're together. And so I was doing a lot of talking and I wasn't doing as quick um, scrapping as I would normally do. So I edit it out as much as I can, but it's a bit disjointed and I do apologize. Um, but yeah, that's what we were doing. It was fun. We hope to do another one sometime soon because it was lovely to be able to scrap together but yet be at our own desks. <laughs> now I am adding some washi tape to each of the kind of strips of Distress Oxide. I added um, my thread on the background and I'm using the washi tape to kind of secure the uh, metallic thread down. And I also forgot to tell you, I did a little bit of splattering in the background and I used a blue colour and I suspect it's Mermaid Lagoon. Uh, for my Distress Oxide in Mermaid Lagoon. I'm looking at my layout now as I'm filming this voiceover and that's what it looks like to me. I went with the blue because I knew that there was a little bit of blue in some of the ephemera that I was using. Actually, in the end, only one piece of ephemera, but that's okay. <laughs> I wanted to bring the blue in as well. So I've added the washi tape. I've got the green with the green stripes and the red washi tape with the red stripes. And now I'm just going through, this is a Pebbles paper pad and forgive me, I don't remember which collection it's from. It's in with my Merry Little Christmas collection from last year, but it's the collection from the year before that or two years ago. I can't remember, <laughs> uh, but I have Merry Little Christmas and then this collection kind of in together. And as I said on my video on the 1st of July, Jess and I are doing a Christmas in July series all month and we are hoping to put a big dent in our Christmas stash, sorry, <laughs> using my words, in our Christmas stash because we really want to maybe get something new for Christmas this year. But to do that, we have to make sure that we've used up some of our existing product. So that is our plan. So you will see every video that we put up in January will be Christmas themed. So I do apologize if you are not a fan of Christmas in July. Maybe come back to our channel in August um, because you will see Christmas videos. Um, some are more full on than others, but they are definitely all Christmas related. We might be doing some December daily. We're not 100% sure yet. It just depends. 
um, what we get up to. Neither one of us have finished our December daily, but we are determined to finish our December daily before December of this year, um, if we can. Well, we can. We've got, we, we can. We know we can. <laughs> so we are working our hardest to finish our Christmas scrapping um, as much of it as we can in January. In January. Um, in July. <laughs> so yeah, bear with us. So I am layering up my photo. Now in the end, I do a few layers, but not probably as many as I kind of thought that I might. So I layer up a couple of red and the green. I'm kind of sticking with the red and the green um, because I wanted to tie it into my background, even though I do bring in some pink and blue into the ephemera. Um, but I'm kind of sticking with the red and the green theme. Um, for this particular layout so you can see me there I'm using some well they're not scraps actually because they're the six by six paper pads but I'm cutting them up and just sort of layering them under my photo just to create some interest now normally I would like to do I quite like to do full full borders around my photos but this is a four by six photo so it was already beyond the six by six paper pad size so I that's why I pieced it just got to work with what you've got <laughs> now I could have done the little kind of um, piecing together trick that a lot of people do to make their six by six pages kind of um, work as photo mats but I decided that I would just uh, layer them in strips rather than full mats around my photo so I'm just popping some foam behind my photo still really enjoying the you guys call it fun foam in the US. Um, I think it's called craft foam maybe here. I buy mine from the reject shop. One of my lovely, lovely subscribers gave me the tip to get it there. And it's working quite well. It is a bit of a pain to cut up the strips, but it's way cheaper than other um, dimensional adhesive. So, you know, we're all about saving money. <laughs> we're just going to go with it. So you can see me here. Uh, layering it up and adding I in the end wanted to pop my photo up a little bit higher than just one level so I added another um, layer of the foam and in the end I actually decided to because I'd already put the double sided tape down I then um, flipped my foam over so that the sticky side was facing down now the reason why I initially put two layers of foam on was because I thought that I would use this frame it's a frame that I think was in one of the Maggie Holmes collections. My sister got it, never used it. I took it and I've used one of them. You would have, no, you won't have seen it yet. I've, I used one of them, spoiler alert, on an upcoming layout. Um, and I, so this one was on my desk and I really wanted to use it up because it's the last one that I have. Um, and so I thought I would use it, but in the end I decided not to. It was just a bit much. Um, so I'm going through... The ephemera I think oh yes it's off camera but I am <laughs> pulling out and looking through the bits of ephemera that I have left thinking that maybe I could use one of those envelopes you just saw me flick it in and out of screen but again it was a bit too bold the big black and white stripe was not really what the look that I was going for so I'm sure I will get them on another page or into my December daily but um, yeah not not going to make it onto this layout now this is the ephemera pack that I believe goes with the um, collection that I had there now I was gonna say I think it's in my bin and I could possibly tell you what it is but oh it's called cozy and bright there you go pebbles cozy and bright it's an older collection as I said so I've pretty much used up everything bar maybe two ephemera pieces from this pack uh, and I've just thrown those in with the Merry Little Christmas collection um, so I'm just going with the kind of house theme I guess I've got Santa in his pajamas with a hot cocoa why not <laughs> uh, obviously in Australia Christmas is in summer so you know ice skating elves and Santa in his big uh, long pajamas with hot drinks isn't really the vibe of our Christmases here but I, I just embrace it because that is 99% of the Christmas collections are snow and cold and winter themed so you just have to go with it <laughs> um, I'm really hoping Rosie's studio brings out a Christmas collection again this year it's been a while since I've brought one out 
Um, oh no, they did bring one out last year. Oh, that means they probably won't bring one out this year. Oh, I hope they do though, because they often don't have winter themed goodies because they're in New Zealand and New Zealand have summer as well for Christmas. So I am adding this wreath up in the top corner and I have added all of my elements you can see underneath my photo. Now I've just edited down the sticking part, so I've stuck everything down, um, but I'm just adding in a few more bits and pieces. Now I make um, a bit of a change to this layout, which you'll see in a minute. I wanted to leave that process in. So even though I edited out me sticking everything down, apart from the little bits that I'm putting up in the top, I end up making a change. So I leave that part in so you can see sort of my thought process um, and where I'm thinking and the lengths I have to go to to make my change. <laughs> uh, so I think I'm adding some holly. Is that what I'm adding in now? Yes. So I'm adding a couple of bits of holly around the layout and then at this point is where I almost decide to make my change to that cluster at the top left of my photo because I've got the kind of line of ephemera going on. Now, oh, by the way, I'm just acknowledging I really only use the inspiration piece for this mixed media layout as just that inspiration. I fully acknowledge that I am far beyond, I guess, um, scrap lifting that layout exactly. Um, but I am not really, I'm okay with just taking some inspiration from a layout and running with it. So I imagine if you go and check out all the other lovely ladies that are participating in mixed media frenzy, and they will be linked down below, they will have a very different take on this layout than I will. So as I said, everyone will be linked down below, so go and check them out. Um, but back to my layout, this was the change that I made. I actually removed that um, cluster from the top left of my photo, the wreath. I just, it was a bit too much and I wanted to go with the sort of line of ephemera along with my photo and just kind of make it a bit of a shelf, I guess. So I ended up having to cut the wreath because I couldn't pull it out from under the photo. So I had to cut it. Um, and I had to throw it away so I couldn't salvage it but that's okay we make a sacrifice <laughs> um, for the art and so now I am wanting to join um, on the left hand side of my ephemera it wasn't it didn't go right to the side of the page whereas on the right hand side it does go right to the edge of the page so I wanted to add an ephemera piece in so I ended up adding some holly and now I'm coming in with some sprinkles they're called from uh, doodlebug I think and I'm adding some of those they're just enamel shapes but doodlebug I call them sprinkles and I'm adding a candy cane and a little gingerbread person and a I don't know what it is a lolly maybe a candy <laughs> um, but it's green and I end up adding that um, that's what I'm just deciding on now. And I add that on the left-hand side of my little ephemera clusters there. And then I'm pretty sure from an ephemera perspective, we're done. Now, I don't add a title to this layout. I did think about it, but I decided I didn't really need one. I will do some journaling. Um, although I only wrote a line or two sentences technically, um, and I can read it to you. It says, bringing Gypsy home. She was so cute and so tiny. And then I put the date. Um, and this was, I should have told you when we were picking up Gypsy, our puppy, from the, the house where she was born. So she was born, um, a farmer's dog had puppies and we purchased her and went and picked her up. So I am, oh, that's right. I forgot about this. I don't know how I forgot about it because the layout's right in front of me. I decided to go with ripping um, a section of my layer in the top and the bottom. Now, I just felt it needed a little bit of something, something. Now, this definitely wasn't in the layout that we were scrap lifting, but it just was a bit flat to me, my layout, and it needed something else to lift it to that next level. And I have to blame Melissa Vining <laughs> for the ripped corners. And again, you know, it's, it, this isn't her idea. Uh, but she has been doing them recently, or at least was a couple of months ago. Um, I think she still is. Uh, and I have taken inspiration from her and channeling my inner Melissa and adding in um, a couple of little ripped details. I've done it to quite a few of my layouts. You know how you go through trends and phases? Well, the ripped, the ripped edges is definitely a phase for me that I'm currently in and I'm loving it. Um, and so I'm adding some patterned paper under that. I've got a, 
a red and white candy stripe and then a green pattern that has leaves. You probably can't tell from the the small picture that you're looking at, but it has like a, a leaf design on it with some mistletoe and other bits and pieces, holly and things like that. Um, and it's lovely. And they tie in with the pattern paper that I've used as a backing for my photo. So it all ties in nicely together, all matchy matchy. And then I'm pretty sure I add some gold splatter and then we are done. My gold splatter, guys, who oh, you would be proud. I mean, it has been hanging on for months. You know, I talk about it every time I use it, but we are nearly done. Oh, oh technically I do add a title. <laughs> I totally, again, I'm, st I'm looking at the layout in front of me and I even forgot that I added a title. So I use this gold scripty thicker here that says cheer. Now, the main reason I use it because I'm really trying to use these up. You can see there's only, you probably can't, there's only three things left. Um, the circle, there's some holly leaves and the word Noel. So you can bet your bottom dollar I will be using this up <laughs> in, in this January um, oh gosh, why do I keep saying January? In this month of July, I will have used up that thicker pack because there's three left and I we cannot have those hanging around until December. <laughs> so here I am with my gold splatters. I have gotten to the point where I have to put the lid back on and give it a good shake every time I want to use it. Uh, it's getting that low um, and I might have to call it a day pretty soon because it's getting very hard to get out of the pack. But I am so proud of myself for basically using one up. So proud. Anyway, my dogs are probably about to bark their heads off, but um, have a look at the other ladies who are participating in Mixed Media Frenzy. Sorry about my dogs. They will be all linked down below. Um, thank you for watching. I hope you like this layout and we look forward to seeing you in the next one. Bye guys.